Okay, I'm now going to explain a little bit about what it means to make a post worth 10,000 bucks. <clears throat> First of all, I need you to understand that this is not a simple little, oh, here's the magic post, and this is exactly how you make one that will make you $10,000. No, I'm going to explain to you the process that you must put into place in order to get that stuff going where you need it to go. You don't just go from making no money to posting something that makes you $10,000. And if you're already making $10,000 with stuff, that was just a number. You see, I'm not sure if I've seen a lot of your video content, but I'm guessing, because I'm a very quick study about this stuff, that no matter what you think your content is good at, I can actually improve that stuff for you really quickly. The first thing you have to do is you have to create a post or a series of posts, one of which may very possibly attract people exactly the way you need it to. A post needs to actually cut to the core quickly and effectively so that you're hitting the people's issues of the problem they need and you are demonstrating to them and this is the most important part of the whole thing with every chunk of content that you actually offer. You have to dare to say the things that are actually controversial or opinionated, unlike all of those posts where people say unpopular opinion and then they say something that is so fucking conventional and normal. You have to actually be willing to know where you stand with an opinion that may or may not be unpopular. Who are you to say it's unpopular? What you have to talk about is whether or not that particular opinion that you have is based on something that you find to be exceedingly unnecessary, poor, not within the world of something that people actually need, and then you offer something that goes to the heart of something that is really of value. That's the difference. So, again, Forget the unpopular opinion and say the actual things that may or may not be polarizing, right? When you do that, you will actually get people to speak to you because your opinion, your knowledge, and your understanding will be based on experience that you can communicate without having to tell them a long-winded explanation of why you're so important and why you're so special. No. Show them by demonstrating your knowledge, right? Good. So once you have that, you are able to actually speak to the core of someone's issue in a way that gets them right where they are looking for a solution. In my case, lately, a lot of those things have been 90 second long things. Getting good at making a 90 second long thing, or less, so that it gets people to be truly fascinated by what you're up to, uh, that's a trick. Um, it's not even a trick. It, that's, that's, that's a profound amount of work in order to move toward that. However, when you do that, you will enable people to reach out to you ready. And the more other things you have in the background for them to be able to devour on their own, 
that's where they will convince themselves. The $10,000 post is about offering something that gives them the opportunity to step right up and say, this person is unlike anyone else. And this person is actually saying what needs to be said. And then the ancillary information that you can offer them just leads them to get what you're coming from with <laughs> what you're coming from with. <laughs> That's a participle clusterfuck. Um, and then you are allowing them to fill out all the other opinions and the larger picture of everything you believe and stand for on their own. And I am fortunate because my price point right now is at $10,000. I am fortunate to be able to offer people a way for themselves, convincing themselves to choose to find the other little tidbits that I offer readily available for them so that it paints a full picture and all I have to actually do is either reach out to them because they've raised their hand, or some of them come to me directly and say, you have what I need, what I want and what I need. And then the next issue here, and this is the thing down the line, is that you then don't readily say, hey, fantastic, let's get on, get on a call. You don't do that. What you do is you qualify only the ones that are ready to actually invest in you. I don't believe in hopping on a call. I believe in actually letting people know with my outreach and my calendar information and a pre-call questionnaire that when we speak, I'm talking about professional level investments with people who are action takers. Everything else I can just talk about on Messenger, but a call, I let them know this is where they are ready to actually join me. And when you do that, you then end up with people who are ready to step up. Now, it's not 100%, but I get pretty close. So I make sure that they're ready to join me with an investment on the call. And if they say, well, I don't really have the money right now, I can use my ability to offer them a way to postpone for now because the call really isn't necessary right now. The call is necessary when they're ready to join me. So I actually push people away a little bit. Because I respect their time, I respect my time, and I have no need to actually explain to them on a call things that I can actually explain to them not on a call. That leads me to situations where people are able to actually get on a call and be fully prepared to step up. That means that there's a lesser quantity of calls per week, but it means that the quality of the actual discussion and the introduction of new people to my services that I truly believe in is very high. I hope this makes sense. That is the key to creating a post that gains you 
a new $10,000 or whatever level you want to be at. Speak later.